Bonjour, mes étudiants. I am Jean-Baptiste, a navigator who has braved the Atlantic to reach these shores of New France. Today, I'll share my experiences and knowledge about our era's great maritime explorations, an era driven by the ambitions of states and the lure of wealth and knowledge. Let's begin with the role of states in this grand age of exploration. You see, between 1450 and 1750, European powers were not merely exploring for exploration's sake. No, it was a strategic expansion, a competition for power and prestige. States like Portugal, Spain, France, and England each sponsored voyages, not out of mere curiosity, but to expand their influence, find new trade routes, and claim lands. My own journey to New France was under the auspices of the French crown, seeking new lands for fur trade and spreading our influence in the Americas. Now, regarding the economic causes and effects of these explorations, let's delve into specifics. Take Portugal, for instance. They developed remarkable maritime technology and navigational skills. Why? To reach the rich shores of Africa and Asia. Their caravels, nimble and sturdy, allowed them to navigate the challenging winds along the African coast and eventually reach India. This opened up lucrative trade routes for spices and silk, which were in high demand back in Europe. The wealth generated was immense, leading to the establishment of a global trading post empire. Then there's Spain, ignited by the voyages of Columbus. His crossing of the Atlantic in 1492, funded by the Spanish crown, was a pivotal moment. It wasn't just a journey, it was a statement of Spain's ambition to dominate new trade routes and lands. The subsequent voyages across both the Atlantic and Pacific dramatically increased European interests in transoceanic travel. The wealth from the Americas in gold and silver transformed the Spanish economy and fueled further explorations. And let's not forget the Northern Atlantic crossings. English, French, and Dutch ventures across these harsh seas were often driven by the hope of finding a northwest passage to Asia. While these routes were elusive, they led to the establishment of colonies and trade networks in the Americas and the Caribbean. My own journey to Quebec is a testament to France's desire to establish a foothold in the fur trade, competing with other European powers. These explorations were not without consequences. They led to the exchange of goods, ideas, and unfortunately, also brought diseases that devastated indigenous populations. They transformed economies, not just in Europe, but across the world, creating a global trade network that we are still expanding today. Remember, students, the age of maritime exploration was a complex tapestry of state ambition, economic drive, and human curiosity. It shaped our world in ways that are still evident today. As you walk these lands of New France, remember the countless voyages, the ambitions of kings and queens, the brave souls who sailed into the unknown, all converging into the story of our present. Mercy for your attention, and may your own explorations be as enlightening as those of us who charted these waters centuries ago.